the mail again. Ooh, fantastic! Yes, fantastic. Let's open it. Ow. I think I know what it is. I've been on eBay and ordered something. Yeah, faster, faster. Oh my god. I better cut this fast, I don't want to cut the video. <laughs> hmm, let's see if we can push it out here. Ah, yeah. I remember having this as a kid. And you can see what it is it's the azimuth head alignment tape for the Commodore 64. And on the flip side you have a game, so you can test it afterwards. So what you do, I can show you. Yeah, everything comes with it. Uh, what you do, this tape has a um, recording on it. First of, there's a program for um, aligning the tape. And then you just keep the tape running. And when it's running, it has a recording that should be with a um, right head that is uh, very well aligned. I don't know how they do it, but... Uh, and uh, there's a score on the screen that should be, uh, be reached. Yes, what you do, you take the tape and you load the program. And then... Um, then there's uh, uh, what it does, it tries to read the bits of the tape and uh, it should get a score uh, for how many bits you can read without error. So here you can see um, how it's done and uh, you put the screwdriver inside the hole here. And this thing here, this is for uh, knowing where the outer limits before the tape gets many errors. You note down where it uh, where the position of your screwdriver is. And then when you have found that you uh, screw it the other way as you can see here. And then you know the other limit. And then when you have found that you, you put the, the arrow in the middle of these two. And then there you have the correct alignment as you can see down here. Yeah, and there's a game with it so you can see that. So. I had this as a kid, so it's a nostalgic value, and I remember this clear cassette. Yeah, so let's try that. Okay, I'm going to test it now, and uh, but first I'm going to save a program that I have on tape, the alignment program that I typed in the other day, because uh, after I adjust the tape drive, it won't be able to load it anymore, so I'm going to try to put it on the SD card. But check this out when I turn it on now. Haha. <laughs> okay, it looks like it uh, loaded okay, so try to uh, save it on this drive. Align, let's just call it that. And comma H, that should uh, save it to the yeah, SD card. Okay, it's lighting here, as you can see. It's actually green and red, same time. Yeah, let's try and load it again. Oops, sorry. Let's see what's on the SD card now. Yeah. It's on the top there, a line. So let's try and load that. See if we can reproduce my store program, comma eight, and just do this and return. Ready? Oh my god, that's so much faster than tape. And now Yes, it works. Yeah, this is the alignment tool that I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry, 
uh, this is like the fourth try on this video. So I have to realign the tape. Well, I don't have to, but I will do it anyway. <laughs> and this is the beginning of my program. And what you can see here is the, you know, if you try to play it in a cassette player, you will see that you will listen and you hear that tone. So the Commodore format is uh, built up in this way that uh, bits are written as uh, medium pulses and short pulses. And in between bytes, there's a, a, short, a long pulse and a short pulse. Or maybe it's two long and one medium, sorry. I have to look that up. Okay, here is the Azimut 3000 tape. So it has been rewind, and let's try it. Uh, in the beginning, of, beginning of the tape, there's a program. So I don't know what that would look like, but uh, I assume it will be perfectly written to the tape by a machine that is properly aligned. So. Okay, here it is. It's a tone. That looks good, actually. So, um... Well, this is a bit scattered, you see. It's not perfectly on a line. So, uh, Yeah, and we can compare this to the program that is on the tape. The long pulses, they are here. If you can imagine, this is time from zero and out to a long time, medium time and short time. So uh, the computer is uh, reading the um, time it takes from one pulse to another. So actually the computer is reading out pulses from a timer inside the CIA chip and uh, printing it on the screen here. So uh, there you get an indication of uh, how long uh, it takes for a pulse to uh, show up. Before I adjust anything, I think I will just keep that picture for later so we can see what happens if we adjust it with um, the program that comes with the tape. This is how we start it. Okay, I've gotten a new screwdriver here, so uh, now let's see. It's easy to get uh, the full count here, so uh, the idea here is to find a midpoint where it fails in both ends. So what you do, you start winding in one direction until it starts fail. Okay, so I'm okay, there it is. Let's see, let's find where it starts to count again. And let's go back. And I think it was here. And now, let's go the other direction. And it's also important not to push down on the head, because then you will... Uh... Okay, now I have gone a whole revolution. And it looks like uh, when I pushed down on it, and I wasn't supposed to do that, but it was... The screwdriver popped out, so let's go back. I was up here, and now it's down here for the upper limit. So now let's try to get the midpoint. It should be here. That's between those two points, or isn't it? Maybe it's here. Yeah, and then the counter should count all the way. It's aligned and the tape stops. Okay, let's try the other cassette player. Okay, here we go. This is my original tape drive and uh, as you can see it is counting and um, this is the one I have from the 80s
and uh, it seems okay but uh, to be perfect we have to find the outer outer limits of it so let's go ahead and say that uh, I did align my tape uh, with a recording from 1994 which I thought was more perfect than uh, the other programs that I had stored on the cassette, on this cassette, so yeah, so it's tape that has line, and I, when I adjust it now, I just <laughs> it was almost at the same place that it was before I started adjusting it. So yeah, let's try and uh, load that program that I stored in the beginning of this video, so we can try uh, and see how the cassette player is doing now. See, yeah, I don't know. It uh, looks the same to me. Um, uh, let's try try the other tip. Here we go. That looks fine. So let's try and uh, compare that on the video and uh, look at uh, the earlier recording uh, side by side there see how that does I can't see it right now so but it looks a little bit better so uh, yeah now the tapes are aligned so let's try and load the game <laughs> 